Welcome to Counterts. In this lesson, I'm going to show how to add a company to your e-filing profile. So you might be a director and you want to add your company to your e-filing profile. I'm going to show you how to do that here. Or you might be a tax practitioner. You may want to add another individual's profile to your e-filing profile. Here, I'm going to show you the steps that you follow. In another lesson, I showed how to approve a tax type transfer. So once the tax type has been requested by either a tax practitioner or someone else, I show how to approve that. You'll find the link to that lesson in the description below. So as you can see, I'm here at sasefiling.zio.za. Put your username and your password and log in. So I put the username and password. I log in there. And then once I'm in my profile here, you can see that I have this menu which starts with home, user organizations, returns, duties and levies, services, tax status and contact. Now yours may be showing the same menu here, but if it's not showing this menu, you might be having a shorter menu. Well, that means here the portfolio would be individual. So what do you need to do? Because you need the extended menu where you can see organizations and that's where you will go when you want to add a company or an individual to your e-filing profile. So if you have the shorter menu, which is like this, then all you need to do is to go to the left hand side and click my profile. And once you are there, you click on profile management on the left hand side still. And then once you have clicked profile management, you can see here linked portfolios and you might have only one or you might have a couple like I do here. So if yours is showing the shorter menu, that means that your portfolio type is individual because if your portfolio type is organization or tax practitioner, then you'd have the extended menu that I have over there. So if yours is individual, you just click on these three dots here just before go to portfolio as you can see here the three dots click on that and then change portfolio type and then if you're a tax practitioner you'd select tax practitioner otherwise if you're not you can select organization and once you've selected organization you just click on save and after you save you click on go to portfolio and it will take you back to our home page and then once you're in your home page you will see that you have the extended menu now that you have the extended menu you click on organization and this is how you will add the company and then on the left hand side you will click on organization again and then the first option under organization would be register new and that's exactly what you want to do to click on register new once you've clicked on register new here is where you'll put in the details of the company or the individual that you'd like to add to your e-filing profile now you make sure that you have the details correctly because if any of the details is not correct it won't allow you to add the taxpayer so you need to have the details so i'm going to select here company because i would like to add a company if you'd like to add an individual or fund or individual non-south african or a trust then you select those ones here but i'm adding a company over here and you can see what it needs is a registered name the registration number and the tax reference number now you need to have these details correctly as per sas records or cipc records because if it's not correct like i said it won't allow you to add where do you get these details if you are adding a company for instance well you can get it in the registration certificate the core 14.3 which is the registration certificate for the company you will get all these details and hopefully you also get the tax reference number otherwise if any of the details like the tax reference number which may not appear all the time in the core 14.3 you can go to this portal and you will be able to search for it there and you will find it so let's put in the details we put in the name correctly and then we put in the registration number and then finally we put in the tax reference number if you're adding a company here the tax reference number is the one that starts with nine so if you have the income tax number for the company it will start with the number nine and it's a 10 digit number so i'm going to put that there and then i will click on add taxpayer and there it has brought me to this page where i selected the group the taxpayer should be added to so i'm just going to click on system default and if you didn't put anything correctly it wouldn't bring you to this page so the fact that it has brought you to this page means that you have added all the details of the company correctly and i click on continue right once i've clicked on continue i go to manage tax types okay because you've already added the company to your e-filing profile but you don't have access to anything you can't do anything with regard to that company so what you need to do is to go to manage tax type okay now here is where you need to pay attention once you've clicked on manage text type here is what is going to show and this is one of a few options it's going to show under status you will see not active active with another party so i'll click on request text type transfer for the organizational income tax and the provisional tax otherwise if you need to do the vet returns or whatever the case may be you will click on whichever one you need to work on once you've clicked that you will go to submit and it will have sent the request to the person who is the registered representative for this company but 
you may have clicked manage text types and this is not what it shows it may show this screen and what you see here is that it's written not active active with another party or it might say not active for all of them and here is where you just need to pay attention to it's showing the letter i here in circle and it's saying not available now if you hover over it you will see that it says that the requested text type is not available as the entity does not have a registered representative on record here's what it means so sars needs to have the details of the person who is in charge of this company or basically whom SARS will hold accountable with regard to this company. And that is what is called the registered representative. Before, the company would have its own e-filing profile, but not any longer. The company needs to be under an individual's profile, and that's why we are trying to edit here. So if it says not available, obviously that means that the company does not have a registered representative, meaning SARS does not have anyone who is in charge of this company who has access to the file of this company and who has the rights to transfer the file of this company to whoever requests it. It does not have this data. So the fact that it shows not available means you can't do anything with regard to this company. As I've just mentioned, you can't file any return. You can't see the status of the company here. So what you need to do is to be appointed as the registered representative. So if you are the director or if you are in charge of this company, you're the public officer, then you need to be appointed as the registered representative. And we have done a separate lesson where we show how to do that. There are two ways you can do that in getting SAS to appoint you as the registered representative so that you can activate all the text types and get access to the file of the company. So you can click on that lesson where it will allow you to do that. I hope that has made sense. If it's showing not available, no registered representative is on the book. So if you are the director or if you're not the director, you want to do this on behalf of a company, let's say you're a tax practitioner and your client has asked you to file their return. That means you need to get the client to be appointed as the registered representative. And then once they are appointed, you can request the text type transfer from them and then they can approve the transfer and you can be able to do whatever you need to do with the company. Otherwise, if it shows you this screen where you can request the text type or where you can activate the text types, that means it has a registered representative on file. The fact that it says here request text type transfer means that it already has a registered representative and I need to request it from the registered representative that SAS has on record. I hope that has made sense and it was helpful. If it was, consider subscribing to our channel, like this video and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time. Cheers.